Hey. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I love your uh, Oh, this is live on, on the World Wide Web, so is that okay? okay? Great, sure. You're not being looked for by anybody or anything no, like that? No, okay. No, no, Except no for me. What was your name again? Alan Epstein. How you doing, Al? Oh, yeah. I, I talked to you a few times, right? On their no, chat or anything? Maybe on chats, but or, uh, I get YouTube on the warm blanket. Okay. All right, good. Yeah, but you, Great. That, you're, in, you're beginning to your... YouTube is so professional. It's oh, the, the, the old camera one? Yeah, that's the most professional one I've seen. That's great. I, I found that way at the bottom of a bunch of templates in there. Uh, way at the bottom. Yeah. And that's where I got that from. And then I modified it a little bit, but not much. Not the pictures, yeah. I just the wording and stuff. So... And you dig up a lot of good old, you know, stuff that many people don't see very often. Well, just because I'm old, I like the old stuff better than yeah, the new stuff. That's just that some of the new stuff I just get. I told, I told Alan Papier one, one time that I, it's like two people, the little girl and the now the young woman. It's like two totally different people, you know. Yeah. And I miss the little girl a lot. Yeah. But. She's a, well, you know, the, the thing with, uh, I think everybody's got a story that's kind of similar with Angelina, that at some point, she touches them in some way, their heart. Absolutely. And it's because she's so genuine. I think it's because she's so genuine, it's actually her. It's not a plastic thing. Right. She, and the reason we know that is because we've watched her do it her whole life. It's Absolutely. not like she just snuck up on us. It didn't and happen. family's so real. So. Yeah, and, I, I, oh, and you got to give the family all the credit in the world. Keep her in this. They, they've kept her as real, as real as they can. And I think Angelina is a focused person. She's a very hard worker, obviously. Yeah. The amount of songs she's learned and mastered so quickly. And, I, mean, it's I can't even imagine just having those lyrics. Huh? She's sang enough for a whole lifetime already. Yeah. Already. Yeah. And she's she not even started more. yet. Huh? She did nothing more. She's already got a lifetime of... I, I mentioned that uh, one of the videos I did the other day. I said something like, I, I quoted Ray Kroc. Ray Kroc, one time he was interviewed, and he said, yep, after... after uh, what is it? I was an overnight success, but it was a, a long 30 year overnight, you know? Yeah, you got to, because some, some people say it otherwise, you got to do, well, after 20 years of working hard, I finally made it, you know? Yeah, well, you know, interestingly, Angelina, in her, one of her recent interviews or something, she said it's been really hard getting recognized. And then, you know, you go to Spotify, and there are literally hundreds of wonderful singers on there who you never heard of, never heard of. You know, one song. So I can see why. There's a lot of competition. Yeah, right now there is. There seems to be a lot of very talented people out there. Yeah. The, the thing that's different it's with Angelina, time. If, if she touches me and the other ones don't. No, right. Exactly. Not all, I mean, I should, let me take that back. There's some that touch me sometimes, but not all the time like Angelina does. Right, right. That's probably a better way to say it. Yeah, I have to admit, when I saw her name on the marquee, I almost wanted to cry. I don't know what it is. I did but cry. I just thought, oh my God. <laughs> I was I taking a picture. I'm here. I was taking a picture of the. There's a picture of her out front with a bunch of other artists that are coming. You know, whatever. Yeah. yeah. yeah and I was crying because it's like my little girls made it. <laughs> and, uh, and to be playing in a position like two days after Yo Yo Ma. I mean, come on. That's, yeah, yeah. She's pretty much made it. She's, <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, you know, I think it's so smart of them to fill a venue like this. It's 895 people. Yeah. They know they can't fill a football stadium, so why would you rent one? Yeah. And. Um, to do it this way, just build it, build it, build it, and let people well, catch the on. The rumor is that there's a rumor. I don't know if it's true, but I hear that one of the owners of Republic Records lives somewhere near here, and he asked her specifically to sing at this venue. But I'm not sure if that's true or not. But it makes sense to me. Why would she pick this out of nowhere? You know? Yeah, really. Yeah. Well, I but have they a feeling Republic Records had something to do with it. But they just remodeled this place too, and it's beautiful. When, have you been in there now? No, no, about, so make sure you go to the bathroom. You won't believe the bathrooms. Wow. Huh? They're just, they're unbelievable. Yeah. And uh, we were in there last night wandering around. They kicked us out after a while. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, up. She's rehearsing somewhere. I mean, One of the guys that works there said, we said something about her, and they said, do you know Angelina? Have you listened to any of her songs? She said, oh, yeah, I heard her. When? Oh, let me just say I heard her, okay? I said, today? You know, then he kind of insinuated that he was like, this is a rehearsal or something. And uh, but I don't know if that's true. Somebody else said she was in Boston all day, so I don't, whatever. You never can tell. Rumor and innuendo is all you get. But uh, I can't believe I'm going live to see her. I don't know how I'm going to react. Oh, so you already know. Yeah. Okay. And I was sitting, I was literally five feet from her. I spent two and a half hours standing there with my back killing me until this should start it so I could maintain my spot right under the stage. It was standing room only. So I was incredibly, I got some phenomenal 
footage of her, you know, all her songs under yep. my name on the YouTube are much better than a lot of people are using. So you ought to take a look at it. Just look up Alan Epstein YouTube and you'll see what I'm uh, okay. I think I did 12 out of the 18 songs, something like that, 13 songs. I'll have to take, yeah, I'll have to take a look at it. Yeah, they're fantastic. And this time I'm a uh, Rogue Gene Center Orchestra, so I have really good seats again. But we can't record her, so... I'm going to abide by the wishes, I think. I'd be better off just enjoying the show, like she said. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm not unhappy about it, because when I did record her with in Norway, I was looking through a camera the whole time, and then I said to myself, I want to see her. So I'm kind of missing the show, yeah. yeah. So I put, put it down for two or three songs. I didn't get them all for that reason. But I'm glad I got the ones I did. It's, it's, well, that's what I was thinking. I, I was prepared to go with a tripod and camera and all that. Then you got a monkey with it the whole time. You ain't got to do much on the tripod, but you got to check it every once in a while, make sure it's running, it's on, you know, all that jazz. This and then you can enjoy it, don't worry about it. You it, could just put the vine on. I mean, like a video vine. I, you know, I thought about that, but you know what? It's the same reason a lot of people like, would like to know more about Angelina's, uh, her dad. Yeah. And but something happened. Because Juliet just said um, something really sad about my dad. And yeah. And, uh, oh. I'll put that over on this one. So, the um, I've been trying to stay out of that because I figure it's your personal business and I don't want to make an issue. But what I what I, uh, I but I'm interested in it because you know, I come from a you know my mother my father left my mother with five kids to raise and uh, I'm the oldest of five and uh, I kind of became like a surrogate uh, father in a way for the other younger ones and you know those stories are real these happen all the time. I guess Mike is. He seems like it, but he's got his own kids now too, so that'll that'll probably change a little. Yes. You want to be on it? No. I want you to save your battery for the show. Yeah, that's true. Should let it charge up. If you push the button, it'll tell you how much is left. Four dots, three dots. This one? It's all good. When you get down to two, don't worry. I don't know how many they got. I don't even know how many are on here. I'm headed over there right now. To the park? What time is it? Three o'clock. I want to get. Oh, you're going. You're going early. Okay, I'll be over there a little bit. You can use a dance. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna help them see it. We're doing a, a. They got a choreographer coming to teach a, a dance segment. Whoever wants to learn it can. You can just come watch or you don't. You know, whatever. And then we're gonna karaoke. Uh, Diamonds. I'm a, now I'm the fool and uh, fire and fire and rain. Oh, good. So we're just gonna we got a screen set. We're setting up a screen with the lyrics and all that. And nobody cares if you can dance. Nobody cares if you can sing. It's just to, Angelina said she'd like to hear the fans sing and dance. That's what we're trying to give her that back. Oh, okay. So it's over at uh, Fort Tree Island in. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you over? yeah. You could. Uh, probably in about. You said it was three o'clock. We're supposed to go over there about four, yeah. so I leave here about quarter off. It only takes about ten minutes to get there. It, it does, but we got to set stuff up. up. Yeah. Okay. If you want to, you can. Okay. I got to see. Okay. Let me warn you. It smells like pizza in there because last night we came here and had pizza and I didn't eat it all. Left it in my car. Okay. If you don't mind the smell of pizza, okay. Let me think about it because my wife's back at the uh, hotel. Well, she, All right. She won't want to go. Uh, it's kind of there's a fairly long walk to get out there, but it's not terrible. It's flat. Yeah. It's, 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 there's nothing wrong with the walk, but it's a, it's a hike. Okay. Uh, I don't know how long it is. Six, six, seven hundred feet maybe. You know, it's, not it's not terrible, but. All right. Well, I better go wander around. How are we doing? Yeah, wander around. Good to see you. Yeah, nice talking to you. Congratulations on all the work you're doing. Well, I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. Oh, so. That's the only way to do things, in my opinion. Okay? All right. My, my I love you. I can't wait to go to the country. I'm so excited. He's something like that. There is one more thing. Don't get too excited.
be right back. Because it's an Angelina event and we're all angels here, I wouldn't normally do this, but I shook your hand. Yes, but then I've been giving hugs right, out for free too, okay? All right, <laughs> a free angel hug, okay? I don't know if I hugged you. No. I'd get an extra one if you did, okay? There you go. All right. I think uh, I don't know any other fan base that has this sort of uh, brotherhood and sisterhood. I really don't. I mean, it's one thing to be a football fan, but then you're always yelling at the other people that have the other their fans of other teams, right? Yeah, right. That's There's no yelling here. You know? I don't. There's no yelling here. You know? I don't. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him. How's that for serendipity when he met Angelina? Lucky dog. <laughs> That's the first thing I thought, but then I was thinking, if I met her, I think I'd have a heart attack and die. So I don't know who's the luckiest one. Huh? Oh, I don't blame him. I think I would be, too. It's like standing in the presence of a god, almost, you know? I shouldn't say it that way, but it's actually true, you know? I, could, I have such a wonderful filter on my mouth. I can always cut the things out, and uh, that's all. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like being, uh, you know, in front of so much innocence and greatness at the same time. Been yeah. Talking to her, you know what I mean? No, I think Angelina, to me, in my mind, and it's not overstating it, I think she represents a model, perfect human being. Yeah. In a lot, so many ways, she's talented. She's a humble. She's good in the heart. She's a she's a philanthropist, and uh, I think it all comes from a genuine place because she doesn't come from a place of need. So she doesn't need anything. No. So it's like it, she's not that's looking true. for things, you know. Absolutely. And to me, that's so pure. When I saw her at Herbert Hobby, you know, I was I like 18 feet from this from her actually. I, I, Were you shaking? Uh, it was crazy cool. It was just beautiful. And, and you know, you could. She came out and she found out where where, where everyone had come from. So many from so far. And she was all choked up about it. She said, you know, it just pushes me to be try harder and harder, and continue to get better and better. Yeah, she looks at making herself better, right? Yeah. Like she's like she yeah. can't like. And, and you know what? She can get better. She does it all the time. But I don't know how you get better perfection. I don't know how you do that. But she keeps doing it. So it can be done. I know. Okay? She, every time something new comes out, she gets better. You know? And a lot of us have been watching that for a long time. I know. There's some songs she's done over and over and over and over again. And every time it's a little bit better. I don't know how she does it. Because the first time was perfect already. Right. Well, I got to go, I gotta run over here. And then I got to maybe I gotta get to the park. So we set up right. for the dancing thing and all that. Nice talking to you. So, I'm back. We're live streaming. Now I've got the camera horizontal because I had to shut it off, turn it on, and I guess I did. The, so there you are. So there you are. There you go. Gary Lazar from Oakville, Ontario. And Steve and I have been commenting to each other. Steve's a great reactor. I am not. I'm a reactor to the reactor. Well, he, he, uh, 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 nah, nah, uh <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. I don't know if I deserve any praise, but I because when you get up in the morning and you do what you love and you do it all day long, I, I don't know if it's praiseworthy. It's just the way it is, I guess, sometimes. We were just talking. We've never seen anything like this before. Like this? Like like this. I mean, we were never privy to anything like this. If the Beatles were coming up, it, it just wasn't done this way. No. There's no, there's, there's, there's no precedent there's so for it. There's so much love for a, a young woman that is the biggest star that's not a star yet. Well, it's we're so amazing. privileged to watch her rise. Yeah, you, you know, that's her, what I see. She's a, she's she's a wonder, and the hair all over the place, and now she's the statuesque. I just hope that she does as well as, I, as she's skilled to do vocally, and from a humanitarian side, I just hope that uh, the industry itself doesn't eat her up a lot, that she has enough of a shield as she said. Yeah. Uh, she, wrote, she wrote that song quite a few years ago, and guess what? It's relevant. Huh? Of course it is. Because she, I think she writes prophetic. I think she knew. I think that she was smart enough, or the family was guiding her, saying, listen, these are the pitfalls, these are the obstacles. If you still want to go ahead, we'll support you. This is what she wants. And it seems like it's not, yeah. She wants to sing for the world. She's very particular in her word choice. She didn't say, I want to be loved by the world. She wants to sing she for the world. She wants to sing for the world. Because you worry sometimes about the artists that she emulates. Some of them are wounded and gone. They're not here anymore. Yeah. And then you, 
you kind of try to draw parallels from that. She doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't seem to be a sad individual. You know what I mean, as a person. Right. So the family that she had, the foundation that she had from grandmother and parents and everybody else, seems to put her in a good stead. And she's in a good, a good framework. Because Amy Winehouse, she loves Whitney Houston, she loves. These were troubled souls. Oh. Even Nina Simone, Elvis. Nina James, yeah. Elvis. I mean, these. When you gather them all up, it's it's, it's a, a lot. casualty. List. Yeah. But their music was phenomenal. Well, I, I think it seems like sometimes the people that have the most pain in their life are able to sing with the most passion. Well, yeah, the and, emotion and, is there, it's raw. Yeah. But I think, I, because we even said it, as a six or seven year old, I don't know how you have that. You, you're, in other words, because you don't have the life experience. The reincarnation somehow, yeah. because she hasn't had the life experience. Although I think now at 17, the songs that she sang on her new EP, I think might have reflected some things that happened to her. We're not privy to it. Right. But when she was six or seven or eight or nine, there's no way life could have dealt her that, that kind those, of stuff. Those yeah. emotions. So she is just, I think it's the fact that she's an empath and she has a world view. I mean, I've heard that she's doing soup kitchens and feeding and clothing people. Nothing's changed since she was six. You're going to make me cry again. Who has that aware? <laughs> no, but who has that awareness? Nobody. And she has, and it could have been, she could have been an entitled youth, a right. young woman, because she comes from a comfortable background, right. and yet she's this very special person. I think the, I think the connection that she makes with me is partly the texture and tone in her music itself, but I think it's the person that she is, and what I've been allowed to see, what the family allowed me to see. I mean, I weep on most songs. I'm telling you, I feel I do the same thing, and I think you know I, I've been trying to define it, and it's so it's almost undefinable. But this point, I don't have the words. So what I think is similar to what you just said, is that some some of us, not probably not everybody, but some of us get this connect. We feel this connection. I, I'm going to say it's more of a resonance that okay. because it kind of goes through. It goes to me. It goes through my body in a way. Well, it, yeah, it's physical. It's so, really and I tie it up with people like Tesla that said that. He said the whole world, everything that exists is because of resonance. Things have to resonate, and they resonate in different harmonies. And he was a, a genius, of course, way above anything I know. But he said he thought that the world could all be powered by the resonance that's already here. And he had this dream, and then, of course, he died and whatever. But the, the thing is, that power exists around us all the time. And then some people have the ability to sense it and then to pass it on. That's what you talk about being an empath. Well, yeah, those are auras, I guess, right? Could be. You could describe positive it as an aura. energy, and she gives off nothing but positive energy, and I think that's what she draws. They always say that. Yeah. You know, if you if you are positive, you'll draw positive energy. Well, there's the other thing that happens too. Everything that exists, and that every atom has, it's a balancing act between negative and positive energy. Correct. That's what makes it stay together. Correct. Well, that that, that focus. <laughs> And then, yeah, then now they think the electrons work in a wave pattern around. It's not really a circular pattern like they used to think. It's more of a wave like a pulse, okay. almost like a heartbeat, okay? okay? But it's in miniature. So what happens is they don't, they don't even know still how to explain why an atom stays together. And it's the basis of everything that has, has substance. And, but then you bring that all the way up to life. That's what we're made out of. We're made out of that. So that's what we are. And it's not, we're no different. So you come to a thing like Angelina, when she puts out all that positive stuff too, a lot of people say it's healing, and I believe that. It heals me, made my life better. So it sucks out some of the negative to balance yep. out that positive in some ways. That's what I think. Now, whether or not that, you know, it's like a teeter-totter thing. Well, I don't know. I mean, medically speaking, she's better than any doctor for me. Even with my mental attitude on stuff. Yeah. I, can't be I have to listen to her every day now. And it's been since 2020, by fluke, I saw her on HET, actually, was the first time. Then I went back through the rabbit Then you got to. But yeah, I mean, I couldn't After believe that. a 13-year-old could sing like that. Right. And just be so, and I saw the barefoot, and I saw the outfit. I said, okay, this is not the norm. So first of all, from Norway. And I had to go back, and that explained some of it, being Norwegian, not American. 
And uh, the fact that she didn't win, I figured, okay, there's got to be something political or something from the business side of things that we don't quite understand. Right. Um, the fact that maybe there's no, there's not only musicians or singers, there's other acts that maybe they deemed were more outrageous or more. Well, the, the, the uh, people that won that year was a great big group of dancers, I think, yeah. right? So, anyway, the apples and it, oranges. It is what it is. I'm glad she didn't win, actually. It didn't do her any harm. No, and I'm sure the family. Because from what I read, Simon Cowell kind of signed into a contract and kind of slave labor. Tie her up, yeah. Hi. Rich. How you doing, Rich? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Steve Calloway. I, I, I know you're pretty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. recognize his face. Yeah, yeah. Plus, plus, plus the white and the yellow. Oh, you were over there in the room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, you, yeah. you know it. Uh, James Thiel, who was involved in the Roses. Right. Uh, you know, I, he, he said he had his friend that was coming bailed out. So he asked me, he said, you can sleep in my room if you want. I wasn't going to stay. Oh, wow. I was going to drive up this morning because okay. I'm seven hours away and I figured I could do that. I got, okay. I have a little bit of energy, so sometimes I can go a little longer, you know? <laughs> so I thought, you know, I'll drive up and then drive. I was going to drive home after a concert because I don't need a lot of sleep anyway. Right. But then he offered the room and I'm thinking, people were saying, go ahead, get the room, get some sleep, you know, get rested up for the thing tomorrow. And I said, Okay, I got six and a hour, six and a half hours sleep last night. I don't think I've ever had six and a half hours sleep. Yeah, good, good, good grid. Yeah, cut off my face. Yeah, I do, I do. Anyways, yeah, it just uh, this is really special. I mean, you know, came down by myself, didn't know what. Portsmouth is a great venue. Again, I, I'm still wondering why, why? they chose the yeah. venue, but I'm pretty sure it it fits into her personality. And maybe they wanted a small uh, venue for her to yeah. test out the newest song. We're probably going to hear stuff we've never heard before. And then they're going to launch. And like I think it's always better to fill a smaller venue than it is to have an empty, bigger well, yeah, venue. No, that would have been depressing. And just, yeah. There's not enough people on this end of the ocean. I think, I think she has better followings in Europe and Asia, actually, than she does in North America. I think you're right. And I think that's the taste buds as well. I think that I have a, what I would call an eclectic taste for lots of different music. And in America, I'll call Canada and the States America. Close enough. Um, it's just like belt and do this and do that. But it's like a cookie cutter mentality. Yeah. And there's very little difference between all these you can't tell good one singers. Yeah. You can't tell one from the other. few great singers out there. And I think she... I think she's eating them for breakfast now. They just don't know. They just don't, yeah. Yeah, I think I think she's got the humanity and the uh, and the skill set to do that. I think you're right. I think you're right about that. Well, I better mosey on. Yeah. I gotta Thanks, have Steve. to. I gotta get over to the four. four I'll see it for the dancing. Four Trees <laughs> Island venue. Oh my God. Okay? okay. Take care. I hope you can go over there. I don't know if you're going or not. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. It's uh, you don't have to dance or sing. You just support the crowd this area. It would be okay. fine. Super. Uh, do you want to say anything? Do you want to say anything to anybody? No, just to Angelina. I mean, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. She's right there. Hey, hope huh? you do well this concert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's all you got to say. Yeah. That'll do it. Thank you so much. Thanks. I got to go find some other people, I guess. Huh? I already did one and sent it. It's already up. Because it could it cut out on me, so then I started another one. So I'm not giving I'm not giving up. Okay. Then I got to go do another one live now over at that island. Man, I'll tell you what. When I find one and the people start saying I haven't seen it before, it makes my day. Huh? That's what I'm doing. How's everybody doing over here? Hey, the table next door said tell those people to be quiet over there talking too much. Okay? Is that you guys? This is huh? my favorite YouTuber, Stephen. Okay. And, and, and this is Peter from Australia. <laughs> Australia. And, and Nicole from Canada. How are you? My lovely wife. And this is Barbara from Kentucky over here. Kent wow, we got a really diverse crowd here, huh? <laughs> Australia is the farthest. That's what, about a 30 hour flight? 25. 25? So a straight flight must be. And Singapore and then to Newark. Okay. Phew. And then a five hour bus ride. Hey. <laughs> If anybody sits in a bus ride that so, long, should be sainted. So if Angelina has a cold tonight, it doesn't sing well, I'll be booing her. <laughs> well, listen, I got some bad news for you. You boo Angelina, you got to talk to me, okay? Okay? So, so you want anybody you want to say hello to? This is on the web. It's going out live right now. Oh, now you're going. Give me time to think of a line. Okay. I love to hear AJ. She's from Norway, and sometimes she sings okay. I love her. <laughs> 
Uh, he he mentioned he always sings great. I, 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 that's a translation now from the Australian to English. Okay. Yeah, that's right. That's kangaroo. <laughs> All right, nice, nice to you. Thanks, Dave. Here, we got to give you a hug too. This is American style. Oh, okay, right. I don't, I don't hey, need nothing by it. Hey, bro. A little, yeah, we got to do that. Maybe the elbow, you know. Oh, look at this. How you doing, puppy? How are you? He loves Angelina. Okay, we got our first Angelina uh, four-legged friend. Yes, his name is Wolfie. Rufie likes Angelina. Wolfie loves Angelina. So, what's your favorite song, Rufie? Wolfie thinks. Um, Wolfie. Wolfie. Yeah. Wolfie. Yeah. Wolfie thinks that the one where she sings about um, a, the new Sorry, day is the one that, um, uh, it's, it's a new day, it's a new... Oh, yeah, okay. Um, he loves that one. He perks up to that one every time. Mm -hmm. Feeling good. Feeling yeah. good. Yeah. I was, I, had to, I was doing it in my head. I was, had to get to that part. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Yeah. He perks up with that every single time. Well, I got to agree with you. When she sings that, yeah, I cry all over my dogs and they get wet, okay? Yeah. I'm just saying. Because to me, it's unbelievable. I never, I, I was raised a Roman Catholic, but I never heard an angel sing until I listened to Angelina. No, I'm just saying, okay? You know, I used to think this is what King Saul heard when David sang to him. We don't this is how ancient her voice is. Her voice is so... We can't take it for so here, you know? genetic, so, so with the top you know, of, the, the same, of the human the genetic other, code you know? that she no, can do not. this. Hmm? That's how I feel about it. I didn't know people in Kentucky even thought that way. <laughs> Occasionally. <laughs> That's a deep thought. And I agree with you, actually. Yeah, so. I mean, I, I, when I hear her, I, I think about ancient, ancient, yeah. ancient beauty. There's a connection. And if she's connected back up farther than most people can even reach. She really is. She yeah. Even, I don't think she can even work, mentally, mentally understand that her, her talent is embryonic. It, it happened in the womb before she even Yeah. Born. Yeah. Her, 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 it was already set because she just has it. And some people do and some people don't. She's got it. Huh? Yeah, I agree with you. Is this the first non-hillbilly you've seen from Kentucky? Well, nobody said she was a non-hillbilly. You know, don't insult her, please. Huh? She's got a banjo in her car, and she knows how to play it. So that's a... That, that, that. Yeah. And these two had moose for lunch. They had what? Moose. Moose? Moose. <laughs> Must have hit it with the car on the way here, and uh, dragged it over to the side and had barbecued her, right? They did try. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you never know what you're going to... The, the one thing we don't have around here is kangaroos. We're fresh out, okay? So I don't know what you're going to eat for dinner. Okay? You guys eat kangaroos, right? Yeah. They use them for pet food. Use them for what? They use them for pet food. Yeah, they kill them because there's too many of them and then grind them up, right? Yeah. They don't eat wombats, thank God. Or koalas. I don't think platypus either. They're not, they're not good. They're too tough. Huh? That beaver tail they got. I hope this is not going live. It is live. Okay? <laughs> I'm wondering about the FBI. Well, there is that $10,000 reward thing. I saw it, but I I, I, I put somebody else's face on there. I, I did, I did a, a shot, photo shot. Huh? <laughs> so, Steve, when you got your new intro yeah. with your camera, yeah. I thought that was absolutely You awesome. like that one? When I was in college, the camera they gave me was a Mamiya CP30. Oh, like just that and one. I said it's almost exactly the same. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. I just love that all that retro stuff, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's one of the reasons why I love Angie, I think. Yeah, huh? she is retro, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Although, what do you think of her new album, her new EP that's not so retro in a way? Well, but 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 it is. Yeah. The thing is, she's just updating the retro part because you know you got you got to stay relevant. Yeah. And the other, you know, to me, to me, each one of those songs is a masterpiece in its own regard. You are right. Because when you go to the Louvre, you've been to the Louvre? Yes, we went there. When you go there, each one of those things is a piece of art to somebody. That's why it's there, okay? Yeah. Now, I can walk by some of them and say, really? And then I can walk by other ones and say, yeah, it's not bad, you know? I don't really that, but I honestly believe that because she is uh, self-taught, you know, um, autodidact, in other words, parents do not allow other musical instructors to come in and say, this is how to make it. Uh, oh, yeah. That ain't happening. No, that she, she, she was taught musical theory, so she wasn't, nobody messed with her voice. And as a result, I think that many of the songs that she did were actually pieces, you know, PhD, you know, master's degree capstone pieces. Yeah. You know, like, I think I'm going to learn how to do rest with, uh, uh, 
uh, this song, and I'm going to learn how to do whatever with this song. And you can see how she's doing that. I mean, look at the, look at the difference between my funny Valentine when she was a young child, my funny Valentine when she was older. Did she do two my Valentine times for the second? No. She did it because she wanted to show what she had learned. She's always moving it forward a little bit, always a little bit, you know, sometimes a lot. And she's never afraid to hold on to things that really matter. Well, the songs, I, I said this on my channel, that each one of those six songs, to me, is a standalone masterpiece. I said it, and I, and I believe it. And I also said, when you, when you go on Spotify, I think they use three or four different words to describe the genre that she's in. Yeah, because they can't pin it. They can't. And I said, you know what, it's gotta, we got to make a new genre, the Angelina genre. So she calls it pop jazz, but that's still too long. I think Angelina's genre is way better, don't you? Because yeah. I don't think there's ever been a genre named after a person. So I said, she ought to be the first, in my opinion. That's just me. Yeah, well, they do that in gymnastics, right? You, you do a certain... Yeah, you name the move after you. This is vocal gymnastics. Okay, I, I, let's run with that ball, okay? I'm with you. Okay? Huh? Well, because I was trying, I was thinking too, you know, what would you call that? You can't... Yeah. The notes between the notes so that you are suddenly floating in the moon. Oh, it's like Baby Buzz when he did the when they did that. that oh song. man. I'm still holding out PA. Still still holding out. And Angelina put the emotive force on that. Like oh, every time. Well you know you know what else she does that it, it strikes me a lot. And it, it happened in um, the one that I think is the most uh, obvious to me is a suspicious mind video that she did. Elvis, Elvis. I never knew that's what it was about. Me either. I never really paid attention to the lyrics. Then when she sang them, it's all about the lyrics, and it's like it goes right through you. You know. That well, that too. I didn't really understand the lyrics of that either. Yeah. I, I, then you can feel that, you know, and that's that. So when I when I that out that Elvis one is that's another one. That's a masterpiece. The whole thing, huh? Yeah, she sounds, yeah. She doesn't get the motion part because she sounds like she's trying to play the, the, the motion with the tin drum. And, but when Angelina does the same thing, she slows it down. Silky. Now I get it. Yeah. I mean, that's, and that's, what, that's what she does. I think that's why it connects to a lot of people. It's because you get the emotional element. Now you understand the story. You know, if you never understand the story, it doesn't mean anything, right? What's that? Human yeah. Who? Robert Byron on comment. Am I got this? What am I looking at? I don't even know. Robert Byron made a comment. Robert Byron made a comment. I just saw it down the Oh, line. Robert Byron? Yeah. He's, uh, Robert Byron was involved in uh, getting the roses together right. for Angelina. They delivered them today, 500 roses, okay? They were delivered to the backstage to their dressing room at about 11.30. And uh, he was involved. He started that. He, he was coming to the concert, and he, he lives in Canada. They stopped him at the border and denied him entry to the United States. This is why. They asked him, why are you going? He said, I'm going to a concert uh, in New Hampshire. I just got to pass through New York to get to New Hampshire. 
And uh, it's Angelina Jordan. Have you ever heard of her? She's 17 years old, blah, blah, blah. For some reason, they perked their interest. So they said something else. He said, yeah, we got a bunch of roses we're delivering to her. Now they think she's a pedophile and a human trafficker. He spent four hours in interrogation. They stripped down his car. They went through his computer. And uh, he even had the tickets online and all that, but they still think he always had nefarious ideas. And the United States Homeland Security people at the border denied him entry to the United States. And he had to go back home. Three hour, oh, sorry, three hour drive each way. That's terrible. And he had his ticket. Yeah. But, but when she goes over to Germany's top model and she's standing with all them and she's the she's by far the most statuesque, stunningly beautiful girl there. I don't know how old those other models were, it doesn't matter. They were all very pretty. And of course, uh, uh, Heidi is a beautiful woman. And that other one, uh, what's her name? Heidi the one? Vigaria. Yeah, she, she's a very pretty girl. But next to Angelina, I'm, so, I, I'm sorry, you know, this is the Louvre again. You walk by all the pieces of art, and then there's this one, you know? <laughs> to, turn it, to, to turn it into something ugly is bad, you know? To me, it's like going to the Louvre. They're all pieces of art. You can appreciate the beauty of it. You don't have to look at all that other stuff that isn't even there, okay? Strip it down to what it is. It's beautiful, okay? That's what I think. I'm just a, but I'm just a country boy, you know? I got me some chickens, huh? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm from uh, Finger Lakes area of New York. It's between Rochester and Syracuse. And you see on the map, it looks like a hand was on there. I'm on one of the lakes. It's called Kenna. Okay. So the lake that I work on is the Canandaigua Lake. It's uh, Seneca Indian for the chosen spot. And uh, it is the chosen spot. It's beautiful there. I got seven minute drive to work. I work on the most beautiful lake in the country and seven minute drive home. And my two dogs are waiting for me every day. I do that in the morning. When, when, I, when my coffee's cooking, I do an Angelina video. And if I, then while I'm drinking my coffee, I do another one, okay? You put yourself in the corner. <laughs> I love that. In the what? In the corner. Every video, you put yourself way off over there. To tell you a secret, I was always naughty. I was always in the corner. So I'm kind of used to being <laughs> over there, okay? That's where they put the naughty people. Okay? My mother was the secretary for the principal at my school. So when I got in trouble every day, I had to see my mother first, then the principal, then my mother on the way out. So on our dinner table it wasn't how was how was school today son she already knew how school was okay i i got it coming i got it going and i got it when i got home so now it didn't do any good but you know you know you do what you can as a parent right okay hey it's nice talking to you i gotta go you gotta go where oh thanks guys appreciate talking to you thanks for thanks for joining in hey kentucky lady and uh, and fido <laughs> Can I, can I say hello? Are you, are you okay? Do you like people that like dogs? I like I like people that like dogs too. Because I sleep with two dogs every night. What kind are your dogs? One of them is a great big giant guy. I just got him. He takes up the whole bed. And he nuzzles me off. So I got a little sliver on a, on a queen size bed. I got this much. He's a, he's a hound lab mix. He's long, tall, and skinny. Well, he's getting fat now because I spoil him. And then I got another one that I've had. I just got him. He's seven years old. I got him from a shelter. And then I got another one that I've had for 13 years. And she sleeps up near the head of the bed on the other side. She kind of keeps an eye on things. She's the boss. He sleeps with me too, and I still only have a sliver of bed. Right? They just nuzzle you right off, don't they? Yeah, and they just keep at it. Now that that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's the right way to do it. Huh? Yeah. You're comfy. All right, it's nice talking to you. Enjoy the concert tonight. I don't know if I'm going to make it or not. I got to go and take my heart pills. Huh? Yeah, if you see me laying on the sidewalk, you know, uh, just go on, step over me or roll me off to the side. It'll be okay. Now, tonight I'm going to be dressed appropriately in a black pants, black coat, dark shirt. Huh? Hey, how you doing? I think I'm still working here. Am I still working? I think so. Oh, yeah. Good, how are you? Well. Okay. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Tony Catterman. Yeah. Steve Calloway. <laughs>
I know, I know who you are. You're a celebrity. I don't know about that. I'm, no, I'm known in this circle. Other than that, I'm not known very much. But uh, yeah, this is on. Do you want to say anything to anybody? Hello. Hello. And Glad to be here. You know, I've never been in a place with so many positive people in my life. There's usually a, a couple of people that are throwing tomatoes, okay? But I haven't seen any tomatoes yet. Another reason why I wore white. Proof. Okay? Anyway. Protection. Yeah. Nice talking to you. I, I got to get over to the four. I hope you're coming over to four pine or four trees. I'm thinking about it. How are you? How are you doing? Congratulations on your weight loss. You know what? I weighed in this morning at uh, 207.8. My goal was 210 today. So I beat the goal. And that means that when I started it, I was 234.8. So I went from 234 to 207. Now, what I never told in that video, I don't think. I started the season back working at the marina this year at 254 in April. And I had already lost some weight. But the, the, coming here gave me a little more motivation to try to look good. So I lost more because of that. And my final goal was about 190, 195. That's what I call my fighting trim. That's what I used to compete. I did martial arts for 20 years. I traveled all over the world and I competed. And I was that's the weight that I used to run. And I ran a marathon too. I, the morning of the marathon, I weighed 192. So I consider the 190, 195 range my, my ideal spot. Below that, I look like a skeleton. And above that, let's not talk about it, okay? Above, above that, I, I'm afraid of Eskimos because they might try to roll the fat off me and it make lamp oil. So I, I, try, I try to... I get afraid to ask them what after I get up a little bit higher. But, yeah, they, they might get me. So anyway, yeah, so I got to head over to, uh, I think, four trees now, I think. What time is it, 3.30? 3.04. Yeah, I got I to gotta pay attention, which I seldom do, okay? Nice talking to you guys. Oh, here. We do an Angelina. When we do Angelina, we also do this, okay? We are brothers and sisters of Angelina, okay? True. Yeah. You know, because the positive energy like this, you can't waste it. You know, you got to keep it in, keep it in the circle. Thanks, guys. Have a good time. How are you? Hi, Steve. Yep. How you doing? I'm fine, thank you. This is live on the web. Yeah. Is there anybody you want to talk to? Or um, anything you want to say to Angelina or any of your family or anything? Yeah, my greetings go out for Angelina. I, uh, I, uh, I'm also originally a Swiss, Swiss guy from Switzerland, so uh, English is not my first language. What was your name again? Noel. Okay. Uh, you, you, uh, do you speak German? Yeah. You can talk German, it's okay. Oh. You never know who's watching. Ja, dann grüße ich gerne Angelina. Ähm, habe dich vor zehn Jahren entdeckt und äh, kurz verloren, äh, als nicht so viel auf dem äh, YouTube-Channel war. Und äh, so 2018 äh, neu entdeckt. Und äh, ja, du triffst immer mein Herz. <lacht> Danke. Ja, yeah. your, your English isn't bad. By the I way, but sometimes if you're comfortable with your own language, it's probably sometimes it flows better, it's you know. My language, it's the uh, yeah. uh, German term. Well, it's like when I try to speak some language, I know a little bit, but I don't know enough really to do a conversation, you know. So I understand. Okay, nice talking to you. Well, you were. Really I know you're gonna love the concert, so I'm not even gonna tell you that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll be in there together crying. Okay. Hello. Maybe. How are you? Tom, Tom Collins, yes, my man. We do. Who's this? Cassidy. How you doing? This is the World Wide Web. You're famous now. Okay. There you go. This is on. I don't know if you want to say anything to anybody. Oh sure. We can tell you we're having a blast. We got the whole family here today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the little one in there. There you go. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Look at that. You, you're a movie star. Can I have your autograph? Oh, you get an <laughs> oh, there you go. Have a big smile. My, where's my thing? Where's my thing? I want my thing back. Okay. We had her. We had her dancing to. Uh, to something's got a hold on me a couple days ago. Oh, okay. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. That was a great song. You, are you gonna be able to go over to the Four Pines or the Four Trees? I mean. I don't know if you're gonna make it just because. You got too much to do. You got to get the daughter back for a meeting at five. 
and then we've got to get changed and back to have dinner. As well. Yeah, and then you got all the kinds of stuff to cut around too. Yeah, there's eight of us all together. You need a bus. Yeah, huh? but hey guys, we're having fun. It's great. Because you know what? The, the positivity here is off yeah. the chain, you know? Because no matter where you go, there's always some negative in there, but I don't feel any. Huh? That one over there with the curly hair is our 14 year old grandson. He's her big brother. That's Thomas. How are you? Thomas is my middle name. How are you? This is on. It's on the web. You want to, you want to say anything to anybody? Friends? Family? Angelina? Nothing? Okay. Nothing. He's a 14 year old shy boy. Yeah. You know what he has, though? He has an autographed book of. of between two hearts from Angelina. Look at that. How'd you yeah. get that? How'd you get that? She, she signed it for us over in Norway. Oh, okay. I don't know if she's doing any of that here. Do you know what she's doing? I don't know. She wasn't officially doing it last time. We got I want something. I want. Huh? No, no. And that's my wife, Josie. I've been on a diet for two months. Oh, wow. To, to come here. Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. Yeah. I told you, he's the Angelina diet. Angelina's diet. He's on the Angelina diet. I did the Angelina motivated diet. Oh, my. I started two months ago. At 234.8, and this morning I weighed 207.8. Okay, and my goal was 210. So I beat that. I'm down there. And I'm gonna go to about 190, 195. That's my fighting trim. Like scorching, just like in diamond. You scorch it. Now over. I know you guys might not be able to make it, but we're going over to the Four Trees uh, uh, Island. Okay. We're gonna do a, uh, a dance. We got a choreographer. We're gonna choreograph a dance. And then we're gonna karaoke style sing Diamond first, just like that. Yeah, I'm MCing yeah. it. Well, no, I'm a professional singer. I just want to tell you, not really. I sing like a I sing like a dog barking at a squirrel. Okay. Exactly. I want you to know I've heard him, and it's true. <laughs> it is true. Yeah, I'm terrible. I'm terrible, but I really put my back into it. I really try hard. Okay. That's the important part is the enthusiasm. I, I sing too, but they throw tomatoes, and I get to have salad. Yeah. Sometimes if you can't, if they're small, you can swallow them. But the other ones, you gotta, you just gotta take them in the face. Yeah. yeah. We hope, we hope Angelina has a great time. I believe that Angela, Angelina loves to sing so much, and she loves her fans so much. There's no way she's not gonna have a great time. And they delivered their, they were selling those roses. I don't know if you got one or not, but they had five hundred of them went to her today. Yeah, we got three. We got three. We got three. Yeah, well, what well, said 500 today. They, okay. they got there. Total of 500 went there today. Yeah. They're not all white, but most of them are. Yeah, most of them. They probably ran out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you get so many white roses. That's a lot, especially those. If they're big like those ones that are on when the live stream. I've never seen such big roses. Yeah. Even though we've been working on it for a while, they, could, they didn't know how many to pre-order. So, yeah, it's going to be wonderful to get those roses. Talks so much about how much she loves her fans. Yeah. yeah. Well, and that's why I don't think there's no way she can have a bad show because no, she's got no. somebody to sing to. Have you seen her singing in the parking garage to nobody? Oh, yes. you know how many, how bad we all want to be in that concert in the parking garage. I want to be in there too. Yeah. Huh? Right. There or anywhere else she's singing. The last one she was singing in the bathroom, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. What can we do so that we can hear her on the on the radio? I mean, that's gonna come after the promotion. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what it is. I think COVID slowed her down a little bit because she that was that was another step on her journey. Right. So that uh, she had concerts all scheduled for the time of COVID, and then they had to go away. So then she got to kind of restart after that. Okay. And I think this venue is interesting because it's uh they remodeled this whole theater and it's beautiful inside. Yeah. But the other thing is it only holds 895 people. Right. So they're smart. They're smart to fill up the small venue. It gives the, us the best experience because right. it's more personal. Yeah. And then you don't want to run something big and not be able to fill it up. Right. It looks bad. But so also they're, they're from, they from they want to get they want to get this and then they want to go out and, and uh, they want to get the album released. It's about six months to start until they have time to promote the, uh, yeah. the concert. So and I I think they're so smart. I think yeah. they're just plain smart. They're smarter than me for sure. Yeah. You know, but that's not saying much. But you know, you know what I'm saying, huh? Well, how many record companies would take somebody on that early and then sit and wait on them and put yeah. all that money into her? You know, they build a beautiful studio. You know, you know, you know that they. Uh, yeah. They know what they have. They know what they're doing, yeah. yeah they, have the, they have the gold mine at the end of the rainbow. Well, and sometimes you got to be patient and wait your yep. turn, you know? That's it. And uh, if, if, you, you if they generate it up from the grassroots yeah. and it sticks, yeah. it's going to be around forever. When you think about all the greats, you know, that's what happened. They got yeah. popular, but their fans stuck with them. Talk to an Elvis fan, man. They're still Elvis fans. They always will be. And they'll always be Angelina fans. Always. I'm because, one of them. Yeah. Huh? You're, you're addicted like the rest of us. I can't help it. I'm not, you know what? I've had worse addictions. So this one's a good one. And this meeting is one of our AA club meetings. 
Yeah, well, you know, when I was, a, I, well, like all of us, when I was a kid, I was a real uh, handful. And I got into martial arts, and I, I was told early on that somebody said, you might be a good instructor someday. I ended up teaching for 20 years. Yeah. And best thing I ever did, besides now coming to Angelina, which is a different stage of my life. But back then, teaching martial arts was the best thing I ever did. I loved it. With Are you doing Taekwondo? You doing WTF style or ITF? Do you know the difference? Oh, you're not doing it yet? Not that level yet. Taekwondo? Taekwondo. Taekwondo, okay. Yeah, our, our, our uh, master is a grand master. When he teaches all more classes. What's his name? Uh, it is Kwajunim. It's Anthony Kwajunim. I'm trying to think if I know him. He's been doing, he's been teaching for 50 years now. That's a long time. Yeah. Well, there's not a lot of really high masters. I've met most of them, so. You probably have met him, just don't realize. I probably, yeah. Because he did a lot, he used to judge a lot of the competition. At one time, there was, at one time, there was nine ninth degree black belts in the world. I had dinner with eight out of the nine uh, one time. Not not for me, but I was in the, in with the dinner. And I was with my master, who was an eighth degree. Yes. And when I, I was his, I was his senior student. How are we doing? Let you go. I know you got going on. Yeah, I got it. I knew it's Steve. Yeah, it's me. How you doing? Good. Chuck. Chuck, how you doing, Chuck? Good, good. Good nice to see you. you. you bet. What, would you bring a posse with you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah who do you got here now? The young ones, the granddaughters. Well, listen, this is on, they, we're on live streaming right now to the whole world. Oh, right. You want to say hello to anybody? Hey, yeah. all the people that love it, do you? Well, they'd be all of us here for sure, that's for sure. Hey. Oh, Angelina. Yeah. Steve Callaway, yeah. Angelina. Yeah, I got my butt. Yeah. And I, and I. I told people that you could find me because I'd be wearing a white shirt, white pants, and yellow shoes. And there you go. Okay? Oh, watch. That's cool. That's okay. Granddaughter took a picture and posted it to the watch. I didn't find the other granddaughter. I the young one. Yeah, you know what? That's the only way that happens on a watch that I got because I'm not going to be able to do that. Okay? I'm an I'm a old guy too, so I don't... This is pretty complicated for me. Yeah. Just doing this. I know. I can't. Yeah. I never was on social media. No, I know it's it's there's nothing there, live stream. The whole world's watching you. You got anything you want to say? No, no, come here, come here. I got you. I got you right there. Okay. Oh, you look beautiful. Say something to the crowd. Huh? There you go. That's enough. How about you? Go, Angelina. Go, Angelina. You want to do the oh? There you go. Now we're vibing. Okay. Okay. All right. I can't wait for the concert today. Oh, I gotta head over to the uh, Four Trees uh, Island because we're doing a dance. Yeah, we're doing that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be part of it, and I'm gonna be uh, also live streaming. So. We have a comment. Someone uh, says yes, true, but don't believe it will be good quality. Don't believe in what? Don't believe it will be good quality. I don't know what they're saying. There's something about even quality. Why? It's a good camera. It is a great, super clear. It's a brand new camera. Yeah. Should I shake it or kick it? Okay. Yeah. All right, Grandpa, you want to keep moving? No, no secondhand yeah. camera work right here. Nah, nothing. I wasn't about it. Well, I don't know what they're talking about, but sometimes I got this lavalier mic on. I think it actually, when it's working, it's more, it's better than the mic that's in here because it's closer to my mouth too. Yeah, yeah enjoy your videos. Though. Up yeah, up thanks. It's nice talking to you. I better get going. Yeah. Huh? Who are you watching me? Oh, that one. If you go under the live button, I just posted one. I did this. Yeah. My phone shut off, so I, it went up and posted, and then I, got, I turned it back on again. So this is another one. Wow, okay. You can see the people that are right here right now. I love, I love watching the reaction videos. I love it. I, I, I just love watching them. So well, guess what? You're in one right now because this is a live stream, and it's on right now. Okay. Right. Anybody you want to say hello to? Okay. Hello, Angelina. <laughs> Angelina, I got to tell you, you're very popular out here with this very group, okay? Popular. And I hope you got good rest. Did you do you want, anybody want to say hello to? No. There's a lot of no's that are getting a lot, of, a lot of hellos. I guess I don't know what that means, but I don't know. It must mean something cosmic or something. I don't know. Well, I can't wait to get to the concert. If she ever needs someone to do her hair in Philadelphia, I will be. I know big hair. You know big hair? I know big hair. Oh yeah, you're from like the Joy uh, near the Joysy Shore and all that kind of stuff, well, right? I wouldn't say from the Joysy Shore. From that era. <laughs> well, I was born in 1955, which makes me a classic, and I lived through that era. And I got to tell you, I've been a, a fan of big hair my whole life. Really? 
I love the, the like the net. You know, like yes, she has her hair. It's a little wild and crazy. You can tell I spent hours in front of the mirror this morning getting this just right. And um, my hair is going to be big tonight. <laughs> well, I I love I love big hair. To me, that looks so well. It's from my okay. era. So yes, it's feminine. And nowadays, a lot of the girls don't like to look that good. They look to look like guys, you know. And some of them maybe are guys too. You don't even know nowadays, right? Well, uh, let's not talk about that. So, so yeah, uh, it's nay the uh, controversial statements, okay? So, but anyway, the big hair thing I always have liked it. It does. It looks very feminine, and I always loved that. So I'm gonna move on because I already got in trouble. You know, the pendulum swings both ways. So you know, once it gets out there, it comes back the other way. Sometimes a little farther too. So. How you doing? You got anything you want to say to anybody? Uh, drug, sex, rock and roll. Got that. You can you heard, erase that. You heard it here first, okay? Yeah, now, he's, I am, the line's forming right now because everybody heard that. So we're going to do drugs first, yeah. then yeah. sex. I don't know if I can make it past the drugs part because I've never done any drugs other than the heart pills. Okay? Yeah, that's what I meant. Oh, okay. Right. A little bit of some atorvastatin, a little bit of lisinopril, yep. 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 baby aspirin, and we're all good, man. Yeah. I got it in my pocket the whole time. Got it. Yeah, I, I swallow them every day. Yeah. All right, nice talking to you. Who am I missing here? Who am I missing? Championship. World Wide Web, Steve Callaway. You guys are all Angie fans? No. Oh, you just stopped in from the... Uh, you don't know Angie and Jordan? Nope. Looking for a lightning bolt? No lightning bolt. Well, hey, ride the lightning, ride the lightning. Have you heard? Have you heard about her now since you've been sitting here? Now we know about her. We're gonna have to check it out. You know, music is a personal taste, so you can listen to her and say, "Eh, okay." But she does have something a little bit different than most people have. Authentic, genuine, from the heart singing, which is, and she's got a beautiful voice. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, exit stage left. Okay, thanks, guys. Are you guys enjoying your fans? Are you Angelina fans? I don't. Oh, you local people. I guess not, okay? <laughs> you from around here? No. Okay. Where are you from? Uh, Concord area. This is on, this is streaming right now. Yeah, there you go. Anybody you want to say hello to? There you go. Is that a tequila sunrise? What is that? No, Yep. <laughs> I haven't had anything to drink since 1985 because I'm Irish, and when you're Irish and you're born, they stamp on your butt with a made the thing. One million drinks for a lifetime, and I drank them all up by the time I was 28. Then I snuck in another decade, I was still drinking, and then I said, I, you know, I pushed my luck far enough. <laughs> and uh, but I also I, I started doing martial arts, and my instructor, my first instructor, I said, he says, I think you'd be a good instructor someday, and. He went out right after that and sat on the hood of his car. He just got to tell the class, you shouldn't drink, you shouldn't smoke. He had a beer and was smoking a cigarette. And I said, I will never do that. I'll never do that. And uh, I, I, quit, I quit drinking because of that. And I never drank again. And then I was, a I was an instructor for 20 years. Best thing I ever did. And, uh, but that's because I, I'm Irish and I'm, I'm also Dutch. It means I'm... That means I'm stupid and stubborn. I'm Scottish so, and Irish. Yeah, yeah, you get, you know, there's certain, there's certain, you just get stuck on certain things, you know? And it's like, I'm not going to be a liar or a hypocrite, okay? I'll be anything else. I'll be a bank robber, I'll, you know, what? I, you know, I'll, I'll illegally uh, poach uh, deers when I'm not supposed to, but I am not going to be a liar or a hypocrite, okay? So when the guy asked me, did you shoot that deer? Yes, okay? Please let me go, I'm starving. You know? <laughs> so anyway, nice talking to you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move along. You guys, Angie fans? Who? Angelina? You? Uh, I've never heard the name before. I got to town today, but I'll tell you what: there's a lot of people that are talking about her. We were just over down the street at the uh, cigar bar. Yeah. And uh, somebody was wearing a shirt with her plastered all over the. Yeah. Well, I don't know what kind of music you like. Everybody likes different stuff. Like this guy here is actually a very uh, a decent, you know, musician. Absolutely. Playing some nice tunes. He's doing great. Yeah. Justin Jordan music. And her name's Angelina Jordan. The Jordan thing is just a coincidence, obviously. And she's playing at the music hall tonight at 8 o'clock, Angelina. So, so if you like, just uh, the first song I ever heard from her, she was nine years old. She sang, I Put a Spell on You. It's an old jazz standard. I am very familiar. 
Oh, yeah. And if you ever saw the original video with Screaming Jay Hawkins, it was black and white. He did it in 1956. She improved that song at nine years old. She did the whole arrangement herself. And it was, it was she did it better than him. And it's better because it was more like an emotional connection than just, than just a theatrical performance, you know? So anyway, I'll quit talking. You probably heard enough of that anyway. So you can check her out if you want. And if you don't, you don't. That's okay, it's fine. I show up. Yeah. She's a great singer. Really, she really touches my heart every time she sings. Good. And nobody else has ever done that. I'm happy that you have that connection. Good and, and you may and you may not, and that's okay. Okay? Thanks, my friend. <laughs> How are you? Yes. Angie fan? Uh, no. no. Okay. I'll leave you alone then. What? Yes. We are now, we, we just found out who this girl was an hour ago. Okay. No idea who she was. And we don't want to be on the video. No, we, we, yeah, we I don't have it on now. I turned it. I turned it around. Okay. But um, we're pretty impressed with all the people here. Well, it's, uh, we're, the concert's at the music hall. 895 people, and I'm pretty sure it's sold out. So you know. Is she coming here? Yeah. Oh yeah. Tonight at eight o'clock. Oh wow. So. How did all these people? Uh, one of the followers? one of the fans just put it on put it on the web. That they're going to try to have a gathering here before the concert of people that want to come over two to five so this is what you get you know we get people are showing up here from all over the country actually there's a guy here from australia uh they come from all over the world to come here to see her a couple people from norway so it's like that's where she's from yeah well, well there's that but the other thing to read what what happens is it's like anybody that likes a musician or a band or anything Sometimes they touch you in some way. You know, they, they touch your soul. That's what she does. When she sings, I cry. Because it's so beautiful. To, to me. And I'm not a crier. I'm the guy at funerals is to rock. I'm the guy you come lean on to cry. Okay? But when she sings, I can't help it. Well, I, that's, that's me too. You know? It wasn't only a couple years ago I found out about it. I never heard of her before. Okay, it popped up on a YouTube video as a suggestion. A nine-year-old girl singing I Put a Spell on You by Screaming Jay Hawkins uh, cover. It was so, it was ten times better than Screaming Jay Hawkins. And it was a nine-year-old girl that she rearranged it to her whole self. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I spent two weeks after that, I, I went back through my whole life saying, what kind of a person am I? You know? Wow. That's how, that's how deep she got me. And that's that's why a lot of people here feel that way that she's made a connection with them, and and from time to time, like Chris Stapleton at the Super Bowl sings the sings the national anthem, that touches me too. But does every song that he sings touch me? No. Tennessee Whiskey's a beautiful song, but it doesn't touch my heart. It's just a nice song, right? Angelina, every time she starts to sing, I start to cry because she's got she's got my heart in her hand somehow. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a crybaby usually, but I am around her, so. Anyway, I gotta go to the concert tonight and cry all night, so uh, we'll see you guys later. Have a riot. Huh? Have a riot. Have a good time. I'm gonna love it. I've never seen her live before. And then come from all over the world to go to her concerts. That's pretty good. 200 bucks, roughly, give or take, depending on where you're sitting. 200 bucks face value? Yeah, well, I paid two. I paid like two, 225 but I bought the second day they were on sale. And then there's a lot of people now, now they're selling for like 180 something, you know, so about 200 bucks, give or take. And I got like three in my pocket that I've been trying to. How many people do you think are going to be there? 895. 895 people. That's how many of the seats. Yeah. So I'm thinking they're going to fill them all up or be pretty close anyway. And so. This is her first time doing it in this country. She's from Norway. She just moved to LA a couple of years ago. And then she had a bunch of concerts scheduled for Europe when COVID started and Nick got all nixed. And then she kind of has to restart. She started singing when she was one and a half years old. She got really good at singing when she was six, and then she kept. She won Norway's Got Talent when she was eight. The whole thing. Did she and ever have lessons, singing lessons? I think she's had some lessons, but you know what it is? She sings from the heart, so she doesn't really need them. Sing her original song. Can we take a picture? Oh, it's great. We're gonna take a check. Sure. She just came out with an EP, extended play. She has six songs, original songs. She wrote the songs. We're doing three of them as a karaoke tonight. Diamond. Yeah, those are her. Those are her lyrics and her songs. Diamond, I'm a fool. Now I'm the fool in uh, Fire and Rain, right? Yeah. 
I'm MCing that. I'm going to be singing it. This is taken from Carrie. What's her name? Carrie? No. There you go. Could be. There's a lot of songs that are like that with diamond in it. So it could be. If it is, then somebody will do something about it. But she wrote, she actually wrote, she said she wrote over 100 songs and picked out these ones to go uh, in the last year or two. So if she copied, if she's got similar lyrics to somebody, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know how she keeps all those lyrics in her head anyway. You know? Because I can't even, I have a hard time remembering my address and my phone number at the same time. Okay? Where are you from? Finger Lakes in New York. I'm at Canandaigua Lake, right between Rochester and Syracuse. So you've been by there. Oh yeah. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful spot. Yeah. I worked at a marina on the north end of the lake. Beautiful. It's nice. Yeah. Seven minutes from my house. Huh? Winery. Uh, everything. You like the wine? Can well, I used to, but I used to drink anything that had alcohol in it. It didn't matter. And then in 1985, I stopped drinking alcohol. I quit drinking because I became a martial art instructor, and I I can't stand in front of a group of kids and say don't drink and don't smoke, and then I'm doing it. I can't do it. Well, I was always the kind of guy that's all about the alcohol. I don't care what the what the vehicle is, you know, wine, beer, always beer. Beer always tasted terrible, but I must have drank a million gallons of it. So, just because it had alcohol in it, it's like cough. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Thanks. Nice talking to you. Okay, I got to kick this into high gear. Or I'm going to be late. How are we doing? Doing good? How are ya? Are you guys here for Angelina? Who's in, you know who Angelina is? Okay. I won't, I won't bother you. I won't bother you. Me too. But I'm in town for a concert for this Angelina singer, so I didn't know if you knew anything about her. So. How are ya? I gotta go. By the way, before you go, did you realize that the guitar player's last name is Jordan? Jordan. Yeah. I can't believe this. It's a coincidence, right? Yeah, a little coincidence. Is there well, something? Everything with the Angelina is coincidence. It's no. all over the place. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, there's no such thing as coincidence, really. Okay? Just superficially. I gotta scram out of here. I gotta get over to uh, the park. See you later. All right, you're probably going to be over the joint, right? I got to go over to the park now and get ready, set up and stuff. Yeah, I was wondering, you said it's about four now, right? Yeah, it, it, it's not just singing and dancing, you know, you got to do all the, all the work. Oh, I know. So I got to go do that now. I'll see you guys later. Yeah, what's your phone number? My phone number is 585-755-3485. That's my phone number. What's that? There you are. There you go. All right. Thanks, man. All right. I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah. Gotta love the technology, you know? I love it. Everyone has, you know. Instantaneous. Give me your phone number. I want to text you after. It's 585 755 3485. 3485. Yep. Super. I'll send you a note and then you'll have mine. Sounds good. Take Thank care. you. Thanks. Thanks. When are you leaving? I'm going to go right now over to the island. i got to get set up. got to practice dancing and stuff. Yeah, I know. They can teach bears to dance. They can teach me to dance. Okay. <laughs> See you guys later. Take care.